Door set up tomorrow, a lot of good value, a lot of premium value, especially in beta, especially in technology. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com Weekend Update Show. Hope everybody is doing well. Weekend Update Show. Today is Wednesday. Okay, this is how tired I am. Today's Wednesday. Hope everybody's doing well. Freudian slip. Uh, hope everybody is having a good uh, trading day. So let's talk about the market. Uh, obviously, as you can see, or anybody can see, has been an active participant in the market or even passive investor in the market. You can see how strong the market continues to be. Uh, bad news is good news. Good news is good news. Great news is gr greater news. And the Fed officially, for the 38th consecutive Fed meeting, just reiterated that the economy is strong enough to slowly but surely start taking off uh, the training wheels and stop slowly but surely buying that aggressive amount of uh, mortgage-backed securities that's been doing for a long, long time. Now, again, we've been hearing this for a long, long time, but they really, really mean it this time. Again, as everybody knows, the, the global economy has not recovered yet from the pandemic. Um, the fact that they believe that the, the, the economy is even in its infancy stages to, to kind of start taking off the training wheels is incredible. But again, we'll take their word for it for the 39th consecutive time in the Fed meeting. The tapering will start soon, right? Really, really soon. Other than that, technology continues to be strong. Uh, earnings, for the most part, uh, have continued to be strong. The one curveball that got thrown today was Roku. Uh, they announced after the close, we'll get to individual pivots in a second, it took out the lower Bollinger Band and on earnings got uh, pretty, pretty aggressively hit. On the other side of the spectrum is the Teflon stock of the our generation. Tesla, it cannot do any wrong, no matter what it does, right? They tried to sell it off yesterday. They bounced it. They tried to sell it off today on the bottom range. They bounced it. They, they, they shot uh, euphoria in its tush, and it took out the previous day's high, traded up into the 1230s, came back down, uh, successfully 12, tested the 1203 level after hours, and now it's pretty much back to flat on the day. You got semiconductors continue to go crazy. You got uh, Amazon uh, woke up today with some pretty aggressive call buying uh, towards the end of the day. You can see this really, really big move that's opening up to one more day of potentially getting above a pretty decent supply zone to start taking it higher. You got Apple re completely reclaimed uh, all earnings levels. Nobody even f remembers uh, that the stock missed their earnings. And even names like Cisco, which I really, really like, uh, you know, old world names that are continuing to kind of get out of channels. And tomorrow, if it confirms, it'll start its highest. So, we, you know, again, we are really, really set up for the end of the year, okay? Uh, we've been talking about this pretty much uh, every single day. Uh, every Every dip above the 50-day moving average uh, needs to be bought and it is being bought on every single level, whether institutional level, micro investor level, macro investor level, whatever the case may be. And the narrative hasn't changed. We see speculation money all over the place. Uh, you see stocks that uh, were not memes turn into memes. You got people chasing stocks all over the place. Uh, you got good news seems to be embraced better than ever uh, at all time highs. And now the question is how long can the, mo the market rally? Let's really not even dive into that uh, area right now. Let's just enjoy it, right? Let's just definitely enjoy it. Uh, the market is obviously very, very bullish. Like I've been saying for the last three, four broadcasts, we have <clears throat> very, very uh, good and aggressive continuation on retracements, you get continuation money flow uh, in every group, in technology, in financials, you had Goldman Sachs uh, breaking out. Look how, look how strong some of these banks are acting really, really well. So you have all the dynamics set up for a fourth quarter rally, uh, and until we start getting really aggressive evidence that there is a buyer strike, that there's technical damage, that's about to be um, kind of incorporated into the market. Again, you have to give the market the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Every dip needs to be bought. Every short continues to get trapped under 60 minutes on 60 minutes support.
and the moral of the story is this is a rinse repeat cycle. The only question is how much value can you get uh, every single day? If you look at today's session before the Fed came out, again, there was a lot of teetering, right? There's a lot of names that were continuing to kind of relax a little bit. You had Tesla relaxing today before the Fed. Uh, you had names like Apple and you know names uh, like Coin before the Fed. TDOC strong the whole day. And you had a lot of names kind of teetering. And once the Fed news was kind of out of the way, resumption of strength must close green, must close at all time highs, and must spill over to the next uh, trading session. Now the key again, and this is a constant night nightly reminder, the key again every single day is not chase the names into strength, right? Again, the breakout on Tesla was 715. The breakout con continuation on Tesla was 807. The continuation continuation of all time highs was 900. The value continues to be in dips and you can see this every single day. Yes, yeah, so you're getting the rocket launchers uh, after two, three o'clock, absolutely. But shorts continue to get trapped, and that is uh, kind of the game plan, the blueprint of what's happening to these shorts and getting run over uh, every single day. And again, our job is to find the stocks that are coming off the bottom of the channels. Again, a lot of times you could turn around and play devil's advocate with technical analysis. You could play devil's advocate of what do you think is going to happen if this situation arises. Again, all we're doing is just, again, really just. Um, riding on the magic carpet like everybody else on Wall Street is and hopefully it continues as long as possible but we have to be fiscally responsible every single day on any new entry on any single scenario uh, that we are looking at because again we we will get pulled if you are chasing anything sky high in the nosebleed section remember the least amount of damage is jumping from the first floor the highest amount of damage and severed heads and broken body parts and broken bones are happening from you know from from the higher floor so be again don't trade from the higher floors be trading from the bottom levels and there's a lot of names uh, that are looking really good tomorrow I and mean, tomorrow is setting up for a really aggressive uh, premium session like I said I love Cisco if it could just start reclaiming this uh, $58 level this thing could, could really wake up uh, you got zoom really good cons consolidation remember this is a bottom channel we're not chasing zoom up here or up there I'm watching zoom down here if we could just take out this whole macro channel this thing can wake up look at tdoc same you know same kind of group as uh, zoom the stay-at-home names right the, the whole um, pharmacy online look at the channel that it's one day away from reclaiming really good channel and it's coming from the bottom it's not coming from the top that looks really good uh amazon look at amazon they they came out with earnings they missed their consecutive quarter today's candle engulfed three days worth of selling including the earnings miss if they could start reclaiming today's channels tomorrow maybe we could start pushing higher we saw uh 3400 weeklies we saw 3700 monthlies uh come in today there was a really good aggressive buying coming in on amazon hopefully uh that spills over a name like qs that's been going absolutely out of its mind this is another name you want to buy on dips. They came for the 32 weeklies. They started coming for the 35s, I believe. If this thing starts uh, going down in the morning on light volume, perfect candidate to buy into rising support for a push red to green ultimately into this $33 rest area as far as supply. So we're set up tomorrow, a lot of good value, a lot of premium value, especially in beta, especially in technology. And if everything confirms that everything works out the way we plan, we should have a pretty good session Fingers crossed. Let's talk about uh, today's pivots, right? Let's talk about today's pivots. FUBU, I, I, I really like this channel. It didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Uh, FUBU 34 uh, needs to build. Not a big move at all. Uh, not a big move at all here. It took out the 34, you know, went to like 3450s and stuff. Nothing big here. I still like this channel. This is still the highest close in this whole formation. But I figured if FUBU takes out this whole channel here, it really should have an expanded move. It didn't do that today. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow, assuming you know there's aggressive option flow. Speaking of option flow, AI, we talked about that the previous session. Uh, 46 needs to build. They were coming literally one after another. The December $55 calls, one after another after another, and AI exploded. Alan Iverson did the crossover, right, on the shorts. 
uh, took out this whole 46 level and it's traded all the way up uh, to the $50 level. I still like it. I think this thing goes higher. Common denominator. The stock is coming from the bottom ranges. That's the whole point. It's going to any dip tomorrow into rising 60 minute support. This is a great candidate to buy the dip on. Uh, another name. AMAT, uh, 141.60 needs to build, a uh, really good looking um, semiconductor chart. It took out the 141.60, traded up to 43.30s. I still like it. If this thing confirms uh, this 45 level, this thing potentially could have a really, really big run in its future, but nice move there. TOST, put up like a $2 move. It opens below 66 um, valid area, put up like a $2 candle, and then it just gave everything back. Uh, clock triggered and then never confirmed. Uh, BBBY did nothing of the sort. I was looking for a possible day two run on one of these meme plays. Never happened. Uh, it sold off the whole day. Cisco, I really, really like. Workhorse, I still like. Didn't confirm uh, that level. Uh, car, nice move on car for experienced traders only. 307 if it builds below. Uh, can flush. This was yesterday's runaway train. Everybody was chasing it and blah, 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 blah. So it took out the 307 level, traded all the way down to the 288 level. It probably goes lower, but again, there's really not a lot of value there left. Um, let's see what we have here. AI going nuts here. Deck 55 calls going absolutely berserk. Uh, Jivo, not a big move at all. Only went up like 8, 10 cents. Nothing uh, sold back off. Netflix, I like. It closed right at the top of the chain. It looked good. It still continues to look good. Um, oh yeah. Oh, I missed, I missed a month. I didn't miss it. Okay. Let me, let me reiterate what happened when Tesla was selling off this morning. I want to show you guys, and this is how sometimes you overthink. I didn't miss it. I messed it up. So check this out. So you see this bottom channel here on the 60 minute. This is a bad tick, right? You see this bottom, you see this bottom channel here, right? 155, uh, 1153. Okay. There was 11.53 remount and there was an 11.50. Since the 11.53 was so close to 11.50, I said, you know what? Let me be safe than sorry. Let me not take the 11.53 remount. Let me take the 11.50. So what does it do? It trades down to 11.52.60 and all it did was put up a $60 candle. <clears throat> right? This is sometimes when you overthink, overanalyze, try to get cute yada 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 yeah i don't think i i want to use the word i missed it i messed it up so again i know a lot of you guys got it <laughs> unfortunately i wasn't one of them uh cisco i really really like we bought the bottom dip there into the bottom range i still think this thing needs uh to clip to get above the 58 level for the next move up uh roku again here's the big move uh for all you guys who caught it uh, 303 big level if it builds below can flush roku got absolutely destroyed uh into earnings and so we are set up for tomorrow we are in a bull market don't overthink again like me don't get cute on a bottom bounce if it comes take it god damn it especially with tesla they're coming for the two thousand dollar calls they're coming for calls all over the place don't overthink price action which matters levels the only thing you need to think about and trade with conviction guys have a great night everybody god bless and i'll see you all tomorrow